Welcome back guys. In today's class, we are going to look at VLAN cloning configuration. So before we do that, let's understand what VLAN pruning is. VLAN pruning is a mechanism or a method that is implemented in layer 2 switches to allow or deny certain VLANs through the trunk interface. So we use VLAN pruning method to allow or deny specific VLANs through the trunk interface. Let's say there are some certain VLANs that we only need them to pass through the trunk interface and there are some that we don't need them to pass through the trunk interface. So which method will we use? We will use VLAN pruning method. So this method will prevent some unnecessary traffic from being circulated across the network. Okay, When we have set a rule to allow or deny these certain VLANs, that kind of method will prevent unnecessary traffic from being circulated across the network. Okay, So, by default, by default, all VLANs are allowed through the trunk interface. By default, simply means there's no configuration that has been done to specify a certain rule okay so let's see how we can configure VLAN pruning the first thing that we must do to a switch is to configure the VLANs okay assign the VLANs to interfaces okay so here we are let's assume we have assigned VLANs to interfaces and Interface FA0-14 is our trunk interface, okay? And a VLAN pruning method is configured on the trunk interface. Remember this. So let's assume this is our trunk interface, FA0-14. We have configured to be, we have enabled it to be a trunk interface. So let's configure VLAN pruning on this interface. We have several rules that we can use. The first rule is to specify that kind of VLAN that you want to allow. Like this, the first rule is switch port trunk allowed VLAN 150. This rule simply means only VLAN 150 is allowed through the trunk interface. Let's go to the second rule. Switch port trunk allowed all, VLAN all. The rule simply means all the VLANs are allowed through the inter inter through the trunk interface. Okay. Then the third rule, switch port trunk allowed VLAN none. Simply means no VLAN is allowed through the trunk interface. Okay. Switch port fourth rule, switch port trunk allowed VLAN this one. Simply means these these VLANs are allowed through the trunk interface. Okay. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN except 50, meaning all VLANs are, allow are allowed through the trunk interface except VLAN 50, okay? Mm -hmm. So guys, it depends on what you want to configure. Sometimes a rule, a set of rules needs you to configure the trunk to allow all VLANs, sometimes a set of rules wants you to configure a trunk to allow only all VLANs except a certain VLAN, okay? So guys, I hope you have understood what uh, VLAN pruning is. I hope you have understood what VLAN pruning is. It's at advantages, okay? And how to configure it, okay? Using this range of rules, all right? So, Let's see this in our practicals. So guys, here we are in our packet tracer. I have already drew a diagram and uh, comment on some parts. I, ha I have st We have two switches and six computers. Each computer is assigned IP address, okay? And we have commented to access a certain VLAN. We have three VLANs. VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. 
So the computers on the upper part will access VLAN 10, on the middle VLAN 20, and on the lower part will access VLAN 30. And we have assigned IP addresses to this computer. For those who don't know how to sign an IP address to, the, to a computer, you can just click on that computer, you come to IP configuration, and you click on static and configure there, and just close. Okay. So, guys, before we can configure VLAN pruning, there are things that you must configure first. The first thing is to configure, the first thing that we must configure is the VLAN, is the VLAN numbers, okay? How many VLANs do we have? 1, 2, 3, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, or VLAN 30, okay? So, let's do VLAN configuration in all these switches, okay? Let's start with this one. Enable config t i hope you remember the mods then i told you earlier to configure vlan you just write vlan which number do we have there vlan 10 okay then you give it a name let's say name is hr okay then we are done with that vlan okay then another one is vlan 20 let's give it a name ict let's exit that interface then another one is VLAN 30, a name of um, finance. Okay, so guys, we have configured VLAN to into this switch. Okay, but we have not assigned interfaces to access those pa those particular VLAN. Okay, let's save first, then see. Okay, exit that interface. Okay, and to to see the VLANs in the database, just type do show VLAN. See, we have three VLANs, 10, 20, 30, but we have not assigned a port to access this VLAN, okay? So let's assign ports to access this VLAN. The first thing that we must do is to see which port should be connected to VLAN 10. You come here and click on the green and place the cursor on the green icon, okay? And you will see it is FA0 plus 2. Okay, then interface, you enter that interface FA0 plus 2, then you have entered that interface. We want to assign this interface to access VLAN 10. What do we do? We enable that port to be in access mode. Switch port. Mode. Access. Okay. Then, after enabling that port to be in access mode, we now assign that port a VLAN number. Okay. Switch port. Access. V which VLAN? VLAN 10. Okay. That's done do right exit that interface then let's see this the other port this port is fa0 slash 3 okay Ac accessing which vlan vlan 20 let's go back interface fa0 slash 3 switch port mode mode access okay then switch port access VLAN 20. Very simple guys. Then you do right to save the configuration and visit the interface so that you can configure the other remaining port. This one is FA0 plus 4. Okay. Click on the switch. Interface FA0 plus 4. Enter. Switch port mode. Access. Then switch port which VLAN? VLAN 30. Okay. Enter. Do right to save the configuration. We have done configuring VLAN on the switch and assign various ports to access VLAN numbers. So what is remaining the here is to configure trunk interface. Remember, this switch is connecting to this switch using a trunk port. So to allow VLAN on this LAN to communicate with the VLAN on this LAN, we must enable trunk 
port okay what do we do let's see which port is connected as a trunk fa 0 slash 1 click there exit this interface then you enter that interface fa 0 slash 1 then we want to configure it as a trunk interface what do we do switch port mode mode trunk good that's all so we are done configuring everything on this side what's now remaining is configure VLAN, VLAN pruning okay so let's go to the other switch and I will do it very fast okay time to say hi so let's start configuring the VLANs VLAN 10 then then was HR VLAN 20 then was ICT VLAN 30 then name was finance finance okay then do right we've done configuring VLAN since switch one so what is remaining assign parts to the VLAN okay uh, exit the interface uh, then let's see which part is connected to access VLAN 10 it's um FA0 slash 3 then this one is FA0 slash 2 then this one is FA0 slash 4 so FA0 slash 3 will access VLAN 10 interface which part access VLAN 10 good interface FA 0 0 slash 2 which part mode access switch mode switch part uh, mode access success VLAN which are uh, VLAN VLAN 20 and exit I'm pressing the arrow up and down to receive the configuration that I did earlier and I modify them instead of typing again hit enter mm. mode access then which which VLAN when it access VLAN 30 ok so we are done configuring assigning VLANs to the various port let's do right to save the configuration ok so what's remaining let's configure the trunk interface so that a VLAN on one LAN can communicate with the VLAN on the other LAN so the trunk interface is FA 0 slash 1 ok click drop and zip this interface Interface FA 0 slash 1, then switch port mode, mode track. Then do right. So, guys, we, are, we have done everything. Now, what's remaining is to configure VLAN pruning. Okay? Configure VLAN pruning. So, before we can configure VLAN pruning, let's see which VLANs are allowed through the trunk interface so which command do we use just click on the switch exit this interface the command that we use under configuration mode is do show interface trunk just like that but when you are in privilege exec mode use show interface remember when in configuration mo mode always use do then that command okay do show interface trunk but when you are in privilege exec mode use show interface trunk okay hit enter okay guys so the trunk interface is fa 0 slash 1 of this switch here okay so we want to see which VLANs are allowed on the trunk interface and so we created how many VLANs three villains villain 10 20 30 so these villains are allowed in the trunk port by default all ports are in villain one that's why it is here okay by default okay and by default all ports are allowed through trunk interface okay the we've not specified a rule to allow all the villains through the trunk interface so by default all VLANs are allowed through the trunk interface so th it's there so guys let's configure VLAN pruning let's go which rule should we use let's go back to our documentation I want us to use uh, because switch port trunk allowed VLAN hall is always applied by default so I want us to use 
the first rule and uh, the last rule okay so let's go back let's just do it here no problem as we see what do we do All right we enter that interface first which interface was our trunk interface is interface fa0 slash 1 okay then switch port trunk allowed vlan let's say let's allow only vlan 20 okay allowed vlan vlan 20 okay hit enter then do right so let's check if the vlan database contain this as the allowed vlan what do we do we we'll type which command just type do show interface trunk see now the allowed vlan ascends to only vlan 20 okay that's the concept of vlan pruning we filter out those unwanted traffic from the network let's do again which rule do we apply now let's try the last rule okay so it's switch port trunk allowed vlan except 50 so we will do switch port trunk allowed vlan except this one so we'll use switch port mode trunk allowed vlan except vlan 20 meaning all the villains will be allowed except only villain 20 let's hit enter and do right do show interface trunk now see villain 1 is allowed villain 10 is allowed and villain 30 is allowed meaning villain 20 has been filled has been filtered out okay or blocked all right in the trunk interface so guys villain pruning is a very important concept that no one can avoid because in our practicals or in your practicals you will be asked to only allow this particular villain through the trunk interface so remember these particular commands okay and uh, several rules and the several rules of denying or allowing VLANs in the trunk interface so the same thing that you have configured on this switch we can do the same on the other switch so for your practice case kindly do the same on this switch try to use this these rules try to use these rules to configure the second switch okay so guys what's remaining i think we have uh, exhausted the villain pruning and uh, that's a very very wide explanation that people should get and uh, let's see you again in the next class bye and have a nice time guys